Elementary. All right, good job. Class, class, class. Yes, yes, yes. To continue our discussion and our review, I'm going to have Matthew Celeste Cooper, and I have one more scholar coming up but to help I us can't with this. Remember Ethan, really. I don't know. I think maybe. So coming up, guys, I'm going to give you the metric stick, and we're going to start with Matthew. So class, class. Yes, yes. yes. All eyes up there. All, All eyes up, up there. there. Okay, class. Today we'll be learning about alternate exterior angles and alternate interior angles. Alternate exterior angles are on the outside of the parallel lines and on the opposite ends of the transversal line. Alternate interior angles are on the inside of the parallel lines or on, or and are also on opposite ends of the transversal line. Now, mere words. Mere words. Alternate exterior angles alternate exterior are angles. on the outside of the parallel lines. On the outside of the parallel lines. Alternate interior angles alternate interior are angles. on the inside of the parallel lines. Are on the inside of the parallel lines. Mirrors down. Oh, she told me to make a bangle. I'm making a bangle. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. That that's all. That's all. That's all. That's Because they're the same. Because they're alternate. Exterior. Exterior. Because they're both. So they're putting into practice what they've learned in class. What is a vertical angle? What is a corresponding angle? What is an adjacent angle? And based on the clues that they have from each angle, they're able to say, I have part of my angle. If it has to sum up to 180 degrees, what's the missing part? Sometimes it's given to them in a form of a corresponding angle, so it's not right next to each other. And they have to work together to figure it out. They all have really good ideas, and some are creating their own, and they're starting to work with decimals. So, it's a little bit harder. 